Nigeria has commenced COVID-19 vaccination and a medical doctor, Cyprian Ngong, of the National Hospital Abuja, received the first jab of the AstraZeneca Oxford COVID-19 vaccine. Hi, welcome to What's Happening. These are the top 10 stories now. At number 10, the Senate Committee on Public Accounts has queried the Ministry of Environment over 55 vehicles allegedly missing from its coffers. The chairman of the committee, Senator Matthew Urohide, relied on the 2018 Auditor General's report to take the decision on Thursday. Part of the report read, Audit observed that 55 vehicles were not presented for physical inspection. All efforts to inspect and confirm their existence proved abortive and the exact location of these vehicles could not be ascertained. The permanent secretary in the Ministry of Environment, Abel Olumoyua, however failed to defend the allegation. Also, his efforts to present some vehicles as part of the alleged missing vehicles were rejected because the vehicles had no chassis number. At number 9, the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board plans to build a new headquarters in the central area of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. The sum of 6 billion naira has been budgeted for the project. The board made this known in Abuja on Thursday during an investigative hearing by the House of Representatives Committee on Public Accounts. JAM Director of Finance and Administration, Mufuta Obelu, who appeared before the committee, said the board has been saving 2 billion naira annually since 2018 to raise the money and begin the project. He said JAM has so far raised 5.5 billion naira, lamenting that the internally generated revenue of the board was affected in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. JAM's head office is presently located in Bari Area Council, Abuja. At number 8, the World Health Organization has scrapped plans for the issuance of an interim report by the team that visited Wuhan, China to investigate the origins of the coronavirus pandemic. The Wall Street Journal reported this on Thursday. The World Health Organization team of experts recently returned from its visit to Wuhan, saying it had no clear finding on the genesis of the virus. Tedros Ghebreyesus, the World Health Organization Director General, had said on February 12 that a preliminary report with a summary of the team's findings would be issued soon, after which a full report would follow in a matter of weeks. But now, according to the scientist who led the team, Peter Ben, the plan is to scrap the interim report and publish the full and final report with a summary of its findings. At number 7, an unspecified number of soldiers have been reportedly killed in an attack on a military outpost in Marina, Safana local government area of Katsina State. Eyewitnesses say the attack was carried out on Thursday afternoon. The actual number of casualties could not be ascertained as at the time of filing this report, but some soldiers were feared killed. The soldiers were said to be returning from an operation in a nearby forest when they were ambushed. At number 6, the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission says Nigeria loses $10 billion to illicit financial flows. According to the Commission, Nigeria accounts for 20% or $10 billion of the estimated $50 billion that Africa loses to illicit financial flows. ICPC Chairman Professor Bolaji Owasanoye revealed this during a virtual meeting to review a report on IFFs in relation to tax on Friday. The ICPC boss explained that taxes played a very strategic role in the nation's political economy. He said the objective of the meeting was to improve on the awareness of IFFs, especially in the areas of taxation. At number 5, the Chief of Air Staff, Isiaka Amao, has approved the redeployment of some senior officers of the force. He also approved the appointment of a new spokesperson for the force, Edward Gabwet, an air commodore. Gabwet replaces Ibukun Daramola, who has been appointed as the Director of Plants in the Air Force headquarters. Daramola disclosed the appointment in a statement on Friday, noting that many branches of the Air Force nationwide were rejected. The statement said the exercise was aimed at reinvigorating operational effectiveness and enhancing service delivery. At number 4, Zamfara State Government has revealed that a Nigerian soldier and his girlfriend were recently caught supplying ammunition and military uniforms to armed bandits in the state. Bashar Maru, the chief of staff to Governor Bello Matawale, who represented the governor at a press briefing, said the soldier was arrested by the military through community-driven intelligence. Although he did not provide details of the incident, he said the state government was waiting for the military authorities to do so. Maru said, the military recently arrested an army officer and his girlfriend who were engaged in assisting bandits with military uniforms and ammunition in active connivance with other saboteurs. This arrest was only made possible through community-driven intelligence. At number three, the newly appointed service chiefs were today decorated by President Muhammad Buhari. The event, which took place at the presidential villa Abuja, is coming after the two chambers of the National Assembly confirmed the nominations of the service chiefs. The service chiefs decorated today include the Chief of Defense Staff, Major General Loki Irabo, Chief of Army Staff, Major General Ibrahim Atahiru, 
Chief of Air Staff Air Vice Marshal Isiaka Aladayo Amau and the Chief of Naval Staff Rear Admiral Awal Gambo. At number two, the Federal Capital Territory Police Command has described as fake news a video circulating on social media alleging that NSAS protest was held in Abuja on Friday. The viral video shows heavy traffic on an expressway with a person saying the Dantata Bridge in Abuja has been blocked by youths protesting. Reacting to the video, the FCT Police Command said no protest of such happened, adding that the video is from the NSAS protest in Abuja last year. Finally, at number one, Nigeria has commenced COVID-19 vaccination and a medical doctor, Cyprian Ngong, of the National Hospital Abuja, received the first jab of the AstraZeneca Oxford COVID-19 vaccine. The chairman of the Presidential Tax Force on COVID-19 and secretary to the government of the Federation, Bos Mustafa, flagged off the exercise on Friday on behalf of President Muhammad Buhari. The executive director, National Primary Healthcare Development Agency, Dr. Faisal Shwai, described the moment as a watershed. Remember that President Buhari and Vice President Yemi Osibanjo will publicly receive shots of the vaccines tomorrow to dispel vaccine hesitancy amongst Nigerians. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands and stay safe. That's all for today. See you next time on What's Happening.